In today's Blender tutorial, we're going to be doing something that's not going to take too long, but I think it's a pretty fun modeling exercise, especially if you're a beginner. We're going to be making a die in Blender. I believe die is the singular and dice is plural. I'll probably mess it up throughout the tutorial, so just overlook that. But as you can see here, this is it. Um, it's just a simple little thing. We're going to add some basic materials, but the main thing I think people would be interested in is in is in the actual uh, modeling of it. So how do we do the modeling? So it's pretty straightforward. Um, so let's jump in and make this die. So the new scene opened up in a blunder. Let's go ahead and select the default cube, which we're actually gonna use today. And let's tab into edit mode. And we're gonna go right click, the very thing active. We're gonna click on subdivide and let's go to our subdivision tab and let's give it free on the um, subdivisions here, right? So now we have a grid we can start working with. Then we're going to go ahead and deselect everything and let's go into our x-ray mode. And we're just going to go to our top view and click and drag. Then we're going to go into our front view and holding in shift we're going to click and drag and select the middle. Let's go into our right view and let's click and drag and select the side inside vert. So we've got everything except the corners and the edges selected like so. So if we turn off x-ray, this is what we have. With all of this active we're going to go control shift B and then we can create a bevel for each individual vertex. So let's go Control Shift B and make them about this big. And let's quickly go to our Edge Select option. And then we're going to go Shift Alt Left Click and select all of the edges of our cube like so. So we're just holding in Shift, going all the way around, just selecting the edges of our cube. So make sure you don't miss any of them. So you can see I have them all active. And then I'm going to go Control B. Just give them a light bevel and let's go roll up our middle mouse button two times just to add in more segments and then double click. And now our uh, die is rounded out a little bit. So now we have all of the kind of starting positions here for all of our um, numbers. So let's go over to our materials. Let's take the default material here and call it white. And let's click plus, create another material. Let's just call it red and with the red material we're going to go down to our viewport display and let's make it red. And then inside of edit mode, select everything. And then let's just go to the red material and click assign. So everything is red. Then go to your face select option. And then we're going to go to our top view. And in our top orthographic, we're going to go to our face select, select all of these top six faces like so. The ones that are at a 45 degree angle. Assign the white material and then go E to extrude and just extrude it in like so. Then we're going to go to the bottom of graphic view. Click on the middle one here and let's go ahead and assign that white and let's go E to extrude that in a little bit. So now we have the six at the top and the white down the bottom and in our front view what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and select four of these like so and assign the white. Extrude them in. And then we're going to go to the opposite side and we're going to grab three of these going across. Let's assign the white and go E to extrude them in a little bit. And then let's go to our right orthographic view. Let's now select five of them like so and assign the white. Extrude it in. And then on the opposite side of that we're going to go ahead and select um, two of these like so. Let's go ahead and assign the white and then extrude it in. And now we have all six of our numbers. And back in object mode, you're gonna to go to your modifiers, add modifier and let's type in sub. Let's get a subdivision surface. And let's go ahead and bump up the viewport to two. And now let's tab back in. And under our materials tab, let's just click on uh, the white material and click select. And now it's selected all of the white tiles. We can now just go control plus to grow that and then assign the white even further. So now it looks a little bit better. Tab back out, right click and go shade smooth. So now we have a dice. So in our front view, I'm just gonna go shift A, add in a camera. And let's grab our dice, double tap R, just kind of give it a cool position. And then let's go in to cycles. Now let's give ourselves a max sample amount of 50, should be more than enough. Shift A, let's add in an area light, move it over to the side. R to rotate it in and let's give that a strength of 70. And let's grow the size a little bit and go Z, then go rendered. So maybe I'll go with 120 maybe, a bit more. 
And then let's just duplicate that light and make a few of them coming from the back. That way we get a little bit of rim lighting. There we go. And then let's just duplicate one coming from the front. And I think that's uh, looking pretty good. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna select our die and we're gonna go to our materials and let's go over to the red and let's make it red. Bring down that roughness to make it a bit more reflective. And you can go to the subsurface and give it a weight to make it a little bit translucent. Um, I think that looks pretty good. Um, and that's about it. You can also grab your white over here and bring down the roughness on that a bit. But this is really how easy it is to make a dice. So um, I'm gonna go to my render properties, go down to film and enable transparent. And let's just go render and give this a quick render. And here we have it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time for another one.